Hello. In this short uh, video tutorial, what I'm hoping to show is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but it's only just now that I've had the opportunity to uh, figure out how to do it. So basically, what I've wanted to do is I have wanted to take the uh, screen, what I'm showing on my, what I've got on my screen within my iPhone uh, or within my iPad, and I want to bring them into my stream. So I want to bring them into OBS so that I can show what I'm currently working on on my iPhone or on my iPad. Now, the reason that I'd want to do that is obviously uh, if I've got another tutorial video where I'm trying to set something up, then it would be good to be able to see what I'm seeing on my iPhone or on my iPad. Now, uh, on my Mac, so I've got a Mac, uh, if I ha use one of these lightning cables and I plug that into my iPhone, then within OBS, if I bring OBS over, I can bring that in as a standard uh, video capture device. So with the device plugged in, my iPhone would just appear as another device, and from there I could bring it directly into the OBS stream. Now, that isn't ideal for what I'm trying to do, uh, because from what I've found, that doesn't work on an iPad. So I'm limited in that sense. Uh, Searching around, it would seem like there are solutions uh, for this if I was on a Windows machine. Um, there's an example from Elgato. They've got an application called uh, ScreenLink, uh, which would allow me to install an app on the iPhone or on the iPad, and then via a 4K capture utility uh, application on the Windows machine, I could bring both of those uh, devices uh, into my stream in the, the, the way I normally would with a, a normal window. Now, that's not ideal for me either, obviously, because I'm on a Mac here, so that doesn't work for me. So I went searching around, and the solution that I found, now I'm completely open to finding other solutions, uh, so if you're aware of something, uh, drop something in the comment, uh, I'd really love to hear about it. Uh, but what I've found, and what I've started using, is uh, a solution from the folks at uh, Air Server. Now, uh, it is a paid for product, uh, I'm not an affiliate with them or anything like that, I'm just trying it out and from what I've seen so far, uh, it works really well. Um, but what they've got is a product called Air Server for Mac. Now what that does, uh, in the same way that I can take my iPhone or my iPad and connect via AirPlay, the standard protocol that Apple have, uh, to connect to uh, uh, my Apple TV or to uh, uh, one of the... Uh, smart enabled TVs that we have in the house for sharing the, what I'm looking at on my iPad or on my iPhone onto the, the TVs, uh, I can do the exact same thing, but instead connect to uh, my Mac. And then what Air Server gives you is a window with the contents of the iPad or the iPhone, and then I can bring that in using a standard uh, window capture device. So again, if I bring OBS into the mix, uh, and I click down here, then I can add just a standard window capture uh, element into OBS, and then I connect the, uh, the, the source of that element will be the Air Server application that I want to, to show. So what I'm going to try and show is uh, that happening. So I'm going to pull up, I've got a little bit of setup here, but I'm going to pull up uh, this, which is the uh, camera on my iPad. So I'm going to try and show you uh, what I'm doing on the iPhone to make it appear within OBS. So what's hopefully going to happen is that over here, so that's the uh, the, the residue of the application from the last time I tried this, uh, I should be able to bring up the new one. So I'm going to I'm going to drop myself off of the stream here so I can show you what's going on on the iPad. So if I walk over here and in the normal way, so hopefully you can see this. So I'm just going to bring up the standard screen mirroring option on my iPhone. If I click on that, what I should see here is, no, oh, you can't see that at all. Uh, if I look over here, then there's a new option that is the MacBook. So if I click on that, what should happen is Air Server kicks in and we're now seeing live what I'm seeing on my iPhone. So if I just click, click off, off of this menu, then you'll see on the right hand side, which is the air server input, you're seeing the exact same thing. So again, if I drop into here, then I can navigate through my applications and I can show what I'm, I want to show you, but I can do it in real time. So I don't need the input camera from my iPad anymore. So I'm gonna drop that off and I'm gonna put me back onto the stream here. So I can now navigate this application as though I was uh, 
showing, uh, so at, at this point, I'm showing the contents of my phone live uh, on the stream. So again, if I wanted to demonstrate how to use the NDI source that I just used to show my iPad camera, I'm able to do that now by going into the NDI application whilst using the Air server to show what uh, the contents of the screen. So I think it's gonna be a really useful uh, setup. Um, the one thing, the one caveat obviously is that if you are showing your phone live, um, you might want to turn notifications off so that you don't get any messages uh, from anyone that you don't want uh, anyone else in the world seeing. Um, but like I say, from what I've seen, so, from what I've seen so far, the uh, application Air Server seems to work really well, and uh, I'm really happy with it so far. So keep an eye out for uh, other tutorial videos that will show me. Uh, driving applications on my iPhone or my iPad and bringing them in at the stream so that you folks can uh, see what's going on. So if anyone has any other suggestions on what applications to use, I would love to hear it. Um, but this is the one I'm going to play with just now. So hopefully this was useful. Thank you very much.